How many recruiting agencies will be involved in the process? No, that is, that is uh, only the sole right of the Malaysian government. We, we decide. Okay. That, that was not part of this discussion. Uh, so this is the minister is more concerned about the welfare and well-being of the workers. But earlier you have proposed 20, 25 agencies and 250 sub agencies. No, this is so purely this is purely the receiving country to decide. We we will decide in accordance with our cabinet approval. But Malaysia appoint uh, worker from other thirteen countries in different ways. So why different proposal for Bangladesh? No, we, we don't appoint. See, some countries there's no MOU. Okay. And in the past we had ten. We might increase. Now now currently with the old MOU is only ten. Okay. But now 10 is effective, so we might increase. Uh, so uh, you will uh, 10 and plus. 10 no, of plus. Course. Now, now the 10 is very effective, so we have to increase, we have to give more. We oh. don't want to do like other countries in Bangladesh. If you look at Singapore, only 7, 7 from 7 to 6. Hong Kong, only 7. Japan is only about very less. So we, but we are not like that, we will increase. We will increase, if we will prove that further we will increase. We see, everybody must know one thing. In 2009, everybody was sending workers, 100,000 workers from Bangladesh were surrounded on the street of Kuala Lumpur without food and drink. I don't want to repeat the same mistake. So, but it gradually will increase. Now, the 10 was very effective, now we will increase further. Then, if there's a need arises, it will increase. Don't worry, we don't have hard and fast rules. We don't limit ourselves only these numbers. Yes, and when the need arises, we will increase. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Smile, All right, thank you, Thank you. 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 I have to start by saying a very big thank you, Datu Sari Saravanan, and of course the Malaysian government. Today, I think, is a historic day when we have finally come to a situation where we have signed in a document, let's put it that way, which will benefit both Malaysia and Bangladesh. And the commitment from the Honorable Minister to look after the welfare of the migrant workers, the decision of the government of having a minimum wage for all workers, both migrant and the Malaysian, these all matters have brought to a situation where, inshallah, the workers going from here will be on a very good situation. I thank you all again. Every uh, workers in Malaysia who come over, regardless whether they come from overseas or local, they will enjoy the uh, similar benefit, uh, minimum wage of 1,500, that is one. Second, Honorable Minister requested me there should be uh, zero migrant cost, which means a foreign worker who comes from Bangladesh, uh, the employer who is taking them have to pay everything, uh, right from the transportation, air fees, uh, levy and everything must be paid by the employer. So in principle, which I have agreed to make sure that there is zero cost for migrant workers. Uh, when you are going to start this process? As soon as possible. Uh, and uh, where's the quota? I mean, how many numbers you are going to take? In, we, in we, which for, sectors? We, we are looking at immediately about 200,000. Over a period of one year, it can go up to half a million. Uh, the, uh, he is asking about the cabinet decision, when it will come. It will come from our country. When I go back, we will announce. I must, I must report to my cabinet about transfer today only, then we will make official announcement from our side. So by June, it will open for Bangladeshi people, Bangladeshi It migrants. should immediately, before end of June.
dire need because Malaysia needs workers, uh, Bangladesh has excess workers to be sent to Malaysia. So it should open it. Uh, once we resolve with the work, uh, joint committee meeting, because the government of uh, Bangladesh, especially the minister, is very concerned about the welfare and well-being of the immigrant workers to be taken care. So we have to give them that assurance. We have, we have announced, we have informed them what are the measures we are taking uh, to make sure that welfare and well-being of Bangladesh workers being taken care in Malaysia, uh, in terms of housing, salary, no, their social needs, so and so forth. All, all that we are putting on record today. But what about the agency issue? That, uh, that, that, is, that, that is dependent on Malaysia. That, that is ours. That is usually the receiving country will decide. And we will do according to the decision of our cabinet.